Okay, we're back with a quick little lesson on evaluation of expressions. What we have here are some expressions. We're going to remember our PEMDAS order of operations here and see if we can solve these now. But they have all letters in them. But that's okay because we know what those letters stand for. So all this is is just a placeholder. This, we call this a variable. Well, it's not very variable because it's got a set number for it. But we're going to take and, and use these numbers over here and simply substitute them into these equations, then use our PEMDAS order of operations and see if we can solve these expressions. Let's go. Here we go. C plus A times B, right? When you just see an A and a B, that means that's times that, right? So here we go. Let's, let's rewrite this. Let's plug in what we have over there. Negative 4 plus A is negative 7 and B is 3, okay? And our order of operations says do the multiplication first. So we'll do this part first. 7 times 3 is, uh, to carry the 9, 21, right? And, and it's a negative 21 because there's a negative on there. So that becomes negative 21 and then minus 4 more. And what happens if we have a negative and a minus another negative? It just gets more negative, right? So this becomes... Minus 25, and there's our answer, okay, for number 1. Okay, what's number 2? Plug a 3 in. C minus A. What's C? Minus 4. Ooh, minus A, but look at A is a negative, so that's going to be minus, minus 7. So I think putting those in parentheses helps a lot, right? Because when you have a minus a minus, what does that turn it into? Well, that turns that into a positive, so this becomes... 3 times minus 4 plus 7, right? The minus of minus becomes a plus, okay? So we'll evaluate what's inside the parentheses first. 7 minus 4 is 3. So now I have 3 times 3. And 3 times 3, we all know, is 9. There's that one, okay? And then finally, the last one, let's substitute in here, okay? We have... Minus 7 squared, It's and look at the parentheses there, that's important, okay? Minus, what's C? Minus 4, minus 4 divided by C plus 2A, um, plus 2 times, and A is minus 7, okay? Can we do that? I don't know, it kind of looks hard. Well, one step at a time, okay? Let's do the parentheses first. We'll do the minus 7, and there's our exponent, right? So what is minus 7 squared? What that really is is minus 7 times minus 7, right? That's squared. It means it, it's multiplied by itself. And what is a minus times a minus? A positive, right? So 7 times 7 is 49. So that becomes 49... And then what? Minus a minus becomes a plus, right? So plus 4 divided by minus 4. And here's another parentheses, another multiplication. What is that operation there? 2 times minus 7, that's minus 14, isn't it? Okay. And so what is that going to give me over here? 49 plus 4 is 53. Okay, and then negative 4 and then 14 negative more is negative 18, isn't it? Okay, so we could, we could write that as uh, negative 53 over 18, okay? Now we, we'll talk about later on how we could reduce that, but that's, that's not going to reduce because this is a prime number. It will not divide, so... Um, we'll just leave that as our final answer there, okay? So, evaluating expressions is nothing more than taking those numbers and plugging them in where they go, and then just using our PEMDAS, our order of operations, to go and solve those problems. All right, next lesson.